Do you believe you're the hottest rapper out? Shit, to be honest, I don't, I don't really like, yeah, you know, like, like, you feel me? No. What it is, everybody, it's your boy, Mike Rich. Anybody wanna try me, then you just might get hit on the motherfucking man. Okay. What's going? Oh, everybody, it's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all is having a blast. Day to day, man. Today, I'm gonna hit them all up. It's a sad day. Really didn't nothing drop today, but we're gonna see if anything's sitting today. We're gonna see if anybody got any late shipments in today. We're gonna see what's happening at the mall. You know how your boy Mike Rich do it. You need me. Anyway, uh, shout out to Soul Ramirez for the tea. And my first time wearing it, y'all almost forgot I had it. Saw it deep in the closet. I was like, oh, I forgot I had a cream shirt. He actually made it, made it for me. Um, he does the like puppetry stuff or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He really into the arts. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Soul Ramirez. I don't even know if he still watched this channel. It's been so long ago when I got this shirt from him. Um, and I don't even know if he's still on the sneaker wave, but it's all good, man. I appreciate the love, like always. But today, uh, real, I'm gonna give y'all a quick update on the sneaker room, man. They kind of messy in here a little bit. So I'm gonna just show you uh, what I did. Like, it's been since April, my birthday. My wife bought a couple of things to add to the room, so I had to redo the whole room like a couple of times. But anyway, as I move to the other side of the camera, these are all my Air Jordans right here. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it is, it is plentiful enough for me. These are all of my Air Jordans. Uh, ones in the box, some on, some on Jay, some on me, and some LeBron's right there, whatever. But anyway, that's my Jordan wall, pretty much. It's not, you know, it ain't nothing crazy. Um, like I said before, my, 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 uh, goal is not to have the biggest sneaker collection. My goal is to only have the quality sneakers in my collection that I like. You feel me? So anyway, those are the Jordans. And then we're going to move to the other side of the room. Got my computer and stuff. We got, um, but we got this right here. We got a TV. Shout out to the wife uh, for dropping me the 50 inch for my birthday. And um, so I put it in the sneaker room, man. You know what I'm saying? TV five. But what I had to do was get it mounted on this wall. And I had more shoes that are non-Jordans. And I just kind of like put them around, you know what I'm saying? This room is not that big, so I just kind of put these shoes around the TV situation right there. Uh, I did put my second hat rack up, you know what I'm saying? And um, because I had too many hats, it was overflowing, and I was trying to put all the hats on one of these racks. I got these racks on Amazon. Still got to get this painted from when the uh, roof was leaking. We had to get the roofing done, but yes, sir, ski. So I got the uh, I got two of these now. Now I bought these from the same. I bought these both from Amazon. And I bought them off the, you know, the actually, you know how you go buy again, like buy the same thing again. And for some reason, the clip to hook it to the wall is chromed out and shorter on the new one I bought. And this one had this long one. I think it was supposed to come with that one anyway, because it looked better. But anyway, my hats, you know what I'm saying? A-Town stuff, A-Town things, all the way to the flow, man. Yes. Heal me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's that. And then I also put the clock up. So this is the Jordan clock. I actually put up, shout out to wife. For my birthday, she bought me the TV and she bought me the uh, the Jordan clock. And it was, it wasn't that bad. It took me forever to put it up as far as getting, cause it's like little magnets on side of, in, in the inside of each shoe that you gotta kind of like, uh, and it's a magnet, magnets on the clock that you gotta stick on the clock. So, it, you know, it took, I think that's the wrong time too. But anyway, uh, <laughs> the clock is fire. It came out good. I feel like I wanna paint the walls or something like that because it's just sitting right in the middle of that white wall. But uh, that's it, man. Anyway, real quick sneaker room update. Um, other than that, I know y'all wanna get to the mall and see what they got going on. All right, I can show y'all the fit while I'm in here. I already showed you my boy, uh, Soul Ramirez sent me the puppetry shirt. And um, of course, y'all, y'all all seen this, man. Y'all all seen the. Wife, she bought me this too for my birthday. You know what I'm saying? The artistic action going on uh, with the flow mat, and it just keep like it doesn't slide. But I be having my um, I be having my my gamer chair on it, so it be like sliding around as I um roll around on the gamer chair. But on feet, on feet, I got these guys on, man. You know what I'm saying? So follow me on IG. I will post a picture on feet pictures. I'm starting to do that again. Socks a little bit too long for these for me. <sighs> I should have got me some uh, mid Nike socks that's, that's colorful like this. That might be next on my list to order because, you know, I be struggling with socks, bro. I ain't gonna count. I be like, what's the right length for the shoe? I'm a size 12, so it, sometimes they look too long, sometimes they look too short. But anyway, Air Jordan 3, uh, JTH T, 
tinker guy, man. You feel me? Um, anyway, it's time to go to the mall and see what's happening. So let's see what they got going on, man. Do it. Yeah, man. So as y'all know, the hype done died down on a lot of stuff. And a couple of sneakers been sitting, man. So that's why I've been trying to do more mall vlogs lately. Just trying to show y'all what's out here in these streets, man. JD Sports. I actually showed these in the last vlog. Seemed like all the stores starting to get them now. Did them things. He's so hard. I think they're going to sell or something, which they probably won't. I might go ahead and get me a pair, but I like them, bro. Cleansed in my humble opinion. I finally get to the mall and I don't see the heritages. So the heritage is, uh, I guess, selling out. They're not the usual suspect no more, but we have a new usual suspect. <laughs> the stage, uh, what is it, Coral? Stage Hayes, whatever they call them. Stage Hayes, guys? Yeah, the new su usual suspect that you see in every store is these right here. I feel like I done showed these more than like white Air Force Ones now, bro. <laughs> Speaking of white Air Force Ones, they got those as well on deck and the price is 110 now. And um, you know, I want to tell you one thing, a shoe that everybody gonna always mess with is these right here. As they call them in New York, Uptowns. Or uh, even shorten it to Ups, White Ups. <laughs> white Air Force Ones, shawty. I, I just can't, I, I, I still can't mail with them, bro. Like I used to back in the day, but I don't know. Uh, I, I just I wear my white Jordan 1 Lowe's, my neutral grays or something like that if I want a, uh, just a plain white shoe. But, I mean, they clean. You can't deny them. It's just not for me right now. You feel me? Oh, they got these right here. These dunk. These are women's dunks right here. It's probably, I still be seeing these sitting around. Uh, they got real collab vibe going on, but they sitting, man. I've been seeing them chilling, bro. So, JD Sport got these thing posted. He talking about safari, I guess, looking women's dunks. Get your song. Champs Sports. So y'all remember the fly net racer? Seems like they're trying to bring them back. Dude, this ain't it though. This ain't quite the same vibe. Got like elbow by action. <laughs> but remember when the fly net racer were real problem, bro? But yeah, these right seem like they might be tight as hell on my feet. They so narrow. I got narrow feet, but they still out like, they might squeeze my jump. Surprisingly, no Jays sitting in champs, bro. I'm used to Jordan sitting here every time I walk in here. Now they have zero Jordans this time. Well, Air Jordan nothings. That's about it though. Foot locker. Today is not a good day to vlog. Slim pickings, McGlickins. Absolutely nothings, McGuffins. Oh, they go to Heritages. They go to Heritages. Yeah, you talking about? Seems like they've been having these Griffies in almost every store too. So the hype moves mysteriously on these as well. Oh, see, I'm I'm getting closer to getting all these feel guy had these feel guy had dope. I got this one, and I paid full price. Kind of mad now because they went from 65 to 49. Now I wonder if they gonna go down any more. Should I go ahead and cop now? Which I I gotta have a brown guy at some point, and definitely the green one as well. I don't know nothing about New Balance, but I feel like these is something. I don't know. I feel like these is something. What y'all think? They got the gray ones too. I feel like they something. But y'all making me sleepy in them all today, man. I'm gonna have to do something else. Y'all making me sleepy. Them Hawks short, harder. Though. See, they got me looking at that short now. Them hard. How about they? How about they? How about they? Regular price 65 on sale for 49. Mitchell and Nell be trying to charge the arm, the leg, everything. I don't know though. I might have to give me a pair of them. They kind of hard. I did. And snipes now, and I see that they got some dunk action. These are not the move because they kind of uh, look like cheap car seats at the top, but you know what I'm saying? Other than that, the suede ain't the best. It's all right. I ain't, ain't going to sit here and dog it out. Uh, and they actually say dunk on the side. Not a fan of that. Uh, Nike Athletic Club. Only thing I like about this shoe is the colorway. Because the colorway hard. I like the way that red splash out that great. <laughs> These ain't that bad, though, uh, other than the materials. Needless to say, this mall has been very slim pickings. Mugglickins. Hey, talking about Jordan Nothings on deck. Jordan Nothings on deck. Kids. GS. Okay. I know we ain't disrespecting the Grand Hill like that, though. I know we ain't disrespecting the classic like that. It's crazy how all the old retro basketball shoes drop, like the pennies and stuff like that. Y'all go crazy. But you gotta admit that this Nike bias. I mean, the questions don't get as much love as the Nike retro. And of course, the feet like Grant Hills ain't finna get enough, uh, get the love. They was just as hyped as them other shoes back in the day. But like I always say, hype moves mysteriously. Everything is based on the resale price. Yeah, boy. If, if you a kid, you straight, bro. 
If you a kid, you good. You Gucci. Yeah, you talking about? Got the fold. You know what I mean? Got the 12s on deck. You know what I mean? They ain't playing with you if you a kid. 13. 13, 13, 13. Shoe department or depot. Is it department or depot? I don't know. Dipped. Yeah, you talking about? <laughs> Boy, what these ill? Man, what in the hell? What they doing? Then somebody done rocked these hoes already. But these is the Rainbow Air Bubble Deluxe. They you talking about? Whew. I know it's going to be some trash can water in here, but we starting out bad already. Hit them boy with the Vila, uh, Fila Posit. Hey, you talking about? Boy. Nah, bro. Nah, this ain't no Posit material. Boy, they just soft as hell, boy. Soft tissue. Hit them with the suede, the dusty, rusty suede on the feet like posit guy. Hell no. Nah. This ain't posit. What would you call this? Nazit? I don't know. I'm trying to say not in it, but it's, yeah, you feel me. Never forget when y'all thought this was the wave. Never forget. So you got Reebok questions and you got Reebok answers. These are Reebok solutions. Hey, you talking about with the Lakers colorway on these hoes? Actually, they not that bad. It's like a question answer collab. Like I don't really. Oh, this is, these are AIs though. I'm tripping. I did not know these existed. My bad for everybody in the comments. They're saying, Rich, you know what them is? Hey, right, hey, that's why they look so much like questions. Reebok solution. Hell no. But I guess ain't solution and answer kind of the same thing. Ain't that the same word almost? Just different ways to say. I don't know. Then we have the Air Puma One Chicago right here. The Air Puma One Chicago, and then the Air Puma One Chicago bedazzled, speckled. I mean, I don't know, bro. What's happening? What's happening, Puma? Y'all know better than that, man. Don't do that. You ain't even got to do that. You know what I'm saying? You don't need how to. Got some champion nothings right here. Everybody trying to like the Jordan One hype has been. Or the, not hype, but just the popularity of the Jordan One has been taking over so much for the last few years. Every single company was like, we gonna have our own version of that silhouette type of shoe. Everybody gonna have a Jordan One. Now I could be wrong, like a lot of these could be classics and they already had this silhouette, so y'all can correct me. I don't really, I never really seen Reeboks and Adidas made like this, so I could be wrong, but it just seemed like everything looked like a Jordan One nowadays. And then feel like busting y'all here with the extra laces, boy. Boy, this is this is this is I hate saying giving, but this is giving real flea market angle cap. Like, I mean, come on, man, what we doing out here, shawty? And they, I bet they thought they were busting your head with the extra laces. I know they thought they were busting your head with them. What, what killed me is they got feel like got some good retro. Like when I was younger, I was in uh, elementary school, grade school, or whatever. And they had something called Feli Run Ball. They were basketball shoes. They have not ever retro though. They had the black and red ones, bro. And if they bring them back out, I guarantee you I'm copying. I'm not even going to hesitate. Just for nostalgia. But that was a dope shoe back then. And um, I've never seen them retro though, so, uh Sketchers. Anyway, I'm going to get the hell about it. <laughs> Hold up. Before I leave, 80s babies, if y'all any guy, I need y'all to holler at me, boy. I need the 80s babies to holler at me. They got the British, the BK, boy, the British Knights in their hole. So the, this shoe in the 80s, I ain't going to say it was just as popular as Jordans or nothing like that, but it was out there, like, it was sitting in Foot Locker with, with the basketball shoes and the and the Nike trainers and all that stuff. I actually chose, I, I told this story on my channel a lot, I, and they don't look the same as they did back then. I don't know what they, they trying to look like the newest shoes. These are trying to look like Jordans right here. But back then, I actually chose a pair of British Knights over a pair of Air Jordan 6 black infrared. I always tell that story when I uh, talk about any black infrared or when they drop or something like that. I always tell that story. I picked a I, and I don't see it. They don't have them in here. But it was a pair of British Knights that I chose over black infrared Jordan 6s, bro. And because I just, I mean, I was so, I was a kid, bro. In 1991, I was like, what, eight years old or something like that? Nine years old? So, I, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know the vibes. Every shoe looked like a big, white, bulky basketball shoe back then. Like, the sleeker, like, black uh, shoes and stuff wasn't really in. So, I was just getting what I see. What I was seeing everybody else win. I regretted not copping them sixes. There's it then. And that's why I still got a DSP, a Joy to Six Black Infrareds at the house right now. But they killing me, though, with the beat. They got the British Knights in their hole, boy. <laughs> but after having the lugs, 
Didn't Birdman have a collab with them at one point? You know what I'm saying? What's up with the gold though? Like the cheap ass. I know the cheap ass gold, man. Like, come on, come on, son. But they do got the vans on there. Some look different about these vans. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe I'm just because they in here. But <laughs> something about these vans look different. It, I could be just tripping though. Y'all let me know. But they look like some designer guy, boy. Like they busting with the designer guy. The red bottoms on you. Boy, they like them some straight up designer. Here you talking about? Boy, I kid you not. I was at the barber shop the other day, boy, and they cat walked in the barber shop with these on this exact pair. And I was like, where did he get these? Now I know. Now I have. Now, now, I, now I have the answers. It, I still got questions, but at least I got the, I got the answer where he got the shoes at. But he, man, he hurt my damn hand, man. Spikes and porcupine shoe. Hey, let me get up out of here. Oh, what is that? Velvet? Oh, let me get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they made it too easy, man. They made it too easy. As long as I've been going to that mall, bro, I had never been into that store. Uh, shoe depot or whatever it is, but they made it too easy to roast stuff, bro. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, no harm, no foul, but it was some hilariousness in that thing. You feel me? I, I don't know where they were going with half of it, but hey, man, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even check price. I should have checked some prices just to see how comparable they are to um, just regular sneaker stores, how much they stuff was. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't like it's a, it ain't like it's not, it's like non name brand stuff in there. It's just, the less desirable kicks, if you will. Anyway, man, other than that, the mall was kind of trash today. I usually have been going on doing mall vlogs and seeing a lot of stuff sitting. Um, they didn't really have a whole lot of uh, Jordans and stuff and stuff like that sitting, but a lot of stuff ain't really been dropping like that. I think in these next few months, it's going to be a lot of sneakers dropping, and um, we'll see. We'll see what stick to the shelves. I'm pretty sure. At this point, a lot of people look forward to the pennies and stuff like that, and they gonna, um, I don't I don't know if they gonna sit or not, but I know the Jordan 7s, man, everybody saying they finna grab Citrus 7. Citrus 7's gonna chill, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Don't mind that. Now, I already reviewed them day up there. I was gonna talk about them real quick. But anyway, I'll talk about that in the next video, uh, how I think the Citrus 7's gonna do and stuff like that. But if y'all enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Right now, I give y'all a minute to do it. i wait. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, hey, thumbs up, thumbs up, hey, thumbs up, thumbs up, hit a thumbs up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation, stand all the way up to the moon, who know what hey, talking about, and keep watching my video, cause that's what I'm here for, gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the blessed, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With riches, kick. I mean, my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. Yeah. My rich fans shouted, that's what I got to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike store just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi, then we gone. Straight up to the moon on them. 